Welcome to the Single African Market Program, the continent of Africa's number one and the most trusted media platform regarding the journey of Africa to create one market for its people and for its nations. Now, finally, the moment that we have all been waiting for is here. And that is the moment where we commence commercially meaningful trading on the continent of Africa. And we have endeavored for the past one year and over, uh, brought you every action week by week. And finally, the continent is ready to commence uh, commercially meaningful trading. That is because all the necessary tools required uh, to commence the commercially meaningful trading have been launched. The Council of Trade Ministers met in Accra uh, the last few days or so, and they launched the uh, Rules of Origin Manual. The manual that contains the about 87.7% uh, rules of origin that have been negotiated by the trade ministers has been launched in Accra. The e-tariff book, the book that contains the tariff offers of the various countries have also been launched here uh, in Accra, the commercial capital of Africa. And that is ready and seated on the website of the AFCFTA Secretariat. The AFCFTA Secretariat website is also made available, uh, well equipped with all the necessary information that you require to know what is happening as far as this vision and this journey of integrating Africa's market is concerned. Above all of that, the AFCFTA Secretariat and some party states have decided to embark on a guided trade. Now, this is going to be more or less like a pilot. Uh, a model of the AFCFTA, trading under the AFCFTA. So seven countries led by the AFCFTA Secretariat, and then we will definitely show them on this platform for you to know thus far what has been achieved. Now, right from there, whoever you are trading on the continent of Africa, you can trade under the AFCFTA. This week, Ghana becomes the first country on the continent of Africa to launch its national AFCFTA policy and strategic document. So this document is going to guide the implementation of AFCFTA in Ghana. Now, right after Ghana, Kenya became the number two uh, country on the continent of Africa to also launch uh, a similar document for the implementation of the AFCFTA. This week, we're going to bring you SFs of what transpired at the launch of the national AFCFTA implementation policy document by the National Coordination Office of the AFCFTA in Ghana. Take a listen. The president is happy to be part of today's launch of the national AFCFTA policy framework and action plan for boosting Ghana's trade with Africa. This launch clearly indicates that the government of Ghana is continuously positioning the private sector operators in Ghana to trade under the AFCFTA agreement. The national AFCFTA policy framework and action plan is geared towards the harmonization of relevant policies, programs, laws, and regulations to boost the productive capacities of the private sector in Ghana, particularly the MSMEs, to harness the full benefits of the AFCFTA. Today's event clearly demonstrates government's unwavering commitment towards the effective implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement in Ghana. The Minister and his able team deserve commendation for their hard work in producing both the framework policy document on the after and the action plan for boosting Ghana's trade with Africa. Allow me, on behalf of His Excellency, Juan Kilimini, the Secretary General of the AFCFT Secretary, and on behalf of all of us in the AFCFT Secretary, to congratulate the Republic and people of Ghana under the leadership of His Excellency, the President Nana Ado Dankwa Kufuado, for demonstrating once again Ghana's strong commitment to building the Africa we want. The Minister of Trade and Industry, under your leadership, Minister Chiamante, has led the establishment of the relevant structures for the implementation of the various AFCFTA protocols in Ghana. And colleagues, at this point, let me ask you to join me to applaud the Minister.
ministry and the agencies of the work that we so far. We have led the continent with initiatives at home to facilitate trading under Africa. Those initiatives, including now the national policy framework on the AFTA and the Action Plan for Boston Trade with Africa, serves as models for African countries. The launch of this important policy framework today is very timely, given that commercially meaningful trading under the HTTE preferential terms is soon becoming a reality. It is significant to note that our national AFCFTA policy framework and action plan was derived from the work of the national structures put in place by the Ministry of Trade and Industry to advance our national interest in the continental project. They include the Interministerial Committee, the National Steering Committee on the AFCFTA, and the technical working groups on boosting trade with Africa. Our vision is to transform Ghana into a modern industrialized country, which will become the new manufacturing hub of our continent. The effective implementation of the AFCFT in Ghana will no doubt make a significant contribution in realizing this vision. To the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the Ghana Coordinating Office of the AFCFTA, this framework, as brilliantly as it is structured, will not mean much if you do not implement the programs under it with speed, effectiveness and commitment. It is your successful implementation of the programs under this framework that matters and which will ensure that thousands of Ghanaian businesses can ride on it and export significantly into the African continent. This requires sustained political commitment and leadership to encourage the rest of Africa to take the bold, critical, but often very difficult steps needed to bring prosperity to our continent. African countries cannot overcome the current economic challenges occasioned by the incidents of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war if we do not develop measures to improve the productive capacities of the private sector and increase intra-African trade. It is against this background, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that the Ministry of Trade and Industry has led the development of the National After Policy Framework and Action Plan for boosting honest trade with Africa. To the Ghanaian private sector, your government is working through this and other initiatives to make it relatively easier for you to get access to this large market in Africa so that you can trade more goods and services out. Yours is to take advantage of it and collaborate with us to resolve any teething challenges that may come. But no matter the nature of the challenges, be resolved to work with us hand in hand to make this work. The HCP Secretariat is pleased to join you and action plan to position enterprises operating in Ghana to harness the full benefit That was the launch of Ghana's national policy framework and action plan that is supposed to guide the country Ghana on how to implement the AFCFTA in Ghana. And it is important that every citizen in Ghana, every trader, every business person in Ghana need to have a copy of that particular book. Either get a hard copy of it or get a soft copy of it and break it down. I am sure that the AFCFTA National Coordination Office will be embarking on intensive sensitization of all rank and file, business uh, folks in particular, SMEs in particular, on the content of that particular document. I'm sure that you have heard Dr. Farid Atha uh, hint that uh, in the course of some of the interviews that we have done. And next week, he is going to speak extensively on what 
uh, the document contains and how we can all utilize the document as far as implementing AFCFTA in Ghana is concerned. Now, a similar document has been launched in the Republic of Kenya right after Ghana launched years. Uh, Kenya has also launched the uh, uh, policy framework that is supposed to guide the implementation of AFCFTA in Kenya. Listen. Kenya has launched its national AFCFT implementation strategy to boost opportunities for industrial diversification, investment and job creation. Speaking during the launch of the Kenya AFCFT implementation strategy, Kenya's Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development said the launch of the document will fast track the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, and added that the development of an implementation strategy is critical in order to leverage deeper integration within the framework of AFCFTA to facilitate and expand Kenya's trade and investment in Africa. Kenya has also established an ad hoc national AFCFT implementation committee comprising ministries, departments and agencies, council of governors, private sector associations, relevant academic and research institutions, and non-governmental organizations to ensure effective and coordinated implementation of the strategy. Kenya is one of the seven countries that have been selected to start trading under the AFCFTA framework in a pilot phase to test the environmental, legal and trade policy basis for intra-African trade under the AFCFTA's guided trade. The AFCFTA provides the opportunity for Africa to create the world's largest free trade area with the potential to unite more than 1.2 billion people in an economic block with a gross domestic product valued at, at least 2.5 trillion US dollars and usher in a new era of development. The e-tariff book is a principal document, is a major tool that is going to guide uh, trading on the continent. If you will have to move goods from one country uh, to the other on the continent of Africa, you would require uh, to know the tariff office of the various countries. And therefore, the e-tariff book is going to be your guide if you have to do uh, engage in trading on the continent of Africa. Africa. The e-tariff book that's been launched by the Council of Trade Ministers and sitting on the website of the AFCFTA Secretariat was prepared with the help of the World Customs Organization. So it's top-notch, it's standard, it contains the best of things that would make trading on the continent very smooth. So uh, I engaged the Secretary General of the World Customs Organization on, in particular, how is the tariff book going to help trading on the continent of Africa. Again, also, how important is the tariff book to traders on the continent of Africa? How did they even assist the Secretariat in preparing this particular document? Because if you recall, somewhere around uh, February, March, April, there about uh, this year, 2022, the Secretary General of the EFCFTA Secretariat uh, called on the World Customs Organization uh, Secretary General and signed a memorandum of understanding to prepare this particular document. So I wanted to delve into this particular subject of e tariff book. What's in there? How can it guide trading on the continent? Listen. Time back, not too long ago, just a couple of months ago, uh, you had uh, an MOU signed uh, with the uh, AFCFTA Secretariat. Uh, tell us about that and how did you come by the e tariff book arrangement? Yes, um, for any implementation of a trade agreement, the customs plays a critical role because uh, um, customs uh, um, facilitate legitimate goods while at the same time custom has to protect the society from any illicit trade. And for that, uh, we need uh, customs to be at the forefront of implementing uh, um, agreement on um, free trade uh, area. And uh, um, well, uh, the AFCFTA Secretariat knows very much how important the customs is because um, we, uh, WCO, together with the heads of African customs, we have been preparing for this um, agreement to come into force since this uh, initiative was announced in 2012. So uh, it was natural that uh, uh, we come to agree on uh, with the AFCFTA Secretariat to work 
because we provide international standards and uh, African digital integration should be based on international standards. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't connect the African continent uh, with the rest of the world. Indeed. So this is how it comes that uh, we started to work with the FCFD Secretariat. And uh, well, the first thing is about the tariff because tariff concession uh, to reduce the tariff barrier. Well, um, now that uh, uh, tariff negotiation has uh, well, progressed, but uh, what is important uh, is to show that to trade, because essentially it is business that uh, um, benefit from that tariff reduction and uh, well, tariff level, what kind of tariff is applied to each country. And uh, um, it is natural that uh, um, well, FCFT Secretariat asked WCO that uh, based on our harmonized system and uh, uh, knowing uh, uh, each country's tariff level to make it, uh, well, uh, compile that uh, system. And uh, of course, we are living in a digital era, so make it uh, electronic so that the traders can just simply checking, well, uh, clicking on the FCFTA website to know what is the tariff level. Yeah. So this is uh, really, uh, well, one huge step uh, well, uh, uh, forward because in the past uh, traders should consult to each customer uh, what type of tariff are you applying. Yeah. But nowadays, just one click with that uh, um, uh, website, they have the knowledge. So where to um, well, export or import goods uh, intra Africa. So this will boost intra Africa trade. Yeah. So at the click of the button one should be able to know the tariffs within all other African countries on the e-tariff book, is that yes. what it is? Yes, yes, that is it. And this information sharing or transparency is very important for trade to do business and especially intra-African trade, that is very important. What is your assessment of the various customs uh, unions we have uh, in the African countries and how do you think they are ready for a continental trading? Well, um, from the outset, I have been talking to African Union before the start of uh, uh, FCFTA Secretariat that uh, you need to involve regional economic communities. Communities. Because regional economic communities have been doing, again, working with us to um, harmonize the customer yeah. system and tariff system. Mm -hmm. And why not? You can get, uh, um, well, uh, involving those uh, uh, RECs, uh, regional economic communities, uh, you can have a step-by-step -step approach and uh, bottom-up approach for creating uh, one African market. So uh, this is how we have been working first with the RECs and then that idea of FCFTA came. We started to work with the African Union and later with the establishment of FCFTA Secretariat very closely coordinated with that secretariat. Yeah, and, and at the RECS level, at the uh, implementation at the RECS level, did you see that readiness among the various regional communities, the customs of the various regional communities, in order to come to the continental level? Do you see that readiness? Well, uh, we constantly um, have regional meetings with the African countries. And there, one of the major issues, topics that we offered is that now you have RECs and you need to think about prepare this, prepare for the implementation of continental-wide um, free trade agreement. And for that, you need to work more with RECs. And at the same time, I talked to RECs that, well, you need to add value uh, with, with your um, well, uh, customer union or free trade uh, area uh, so that you can contribute to African continental one. And I talked to African Union that, uh, well, engage Rex, please. And in that way, they are coming. And, well, customer administrations are uh, really, um, well, committed to that uh, um, big movement of creating African market because this is about economic competitiveness uh, that uh, customs uh, are a major uh, mission. One of the main concerns in Africa when it comes to customs is a lack of uh, connection, interconnection uh, from one customs administration in one country to the other. So in West Africa, for instance, Ghana is not 
connected to the uh, its neighbors, say Burkina Faso, Mali, or Niger, or Abidjan, or Cote d'Ivoire, or Nigeria. Uh, how do you think that we have eaten a book? they can be able to harmonize their custom systems enough to be able to take advantage of the e-tariff book? Of course, with the e-tariff book, um, it creates demand for that uh, more harmonized approach, especially cross borders and uh, uh, interoperability of the system. Because nowadays, uh, all customer administration have their own IT system. And uh, those IT systems should be able to talk to each other. And for that, you need um, more standards. And uh, we helped to develop that standards. And uh, um, well, surrounding Ghana, the many uh, uh, customer administrations are starting to adopt that standards called SIGMAT. So uh, this is uh, um, uh, gradually they are taking on. Uh, and uh, um, with that uh, technical specificity already available, so it's really uh, uh, up to political um, support uh, and for po creating a political demand commitment, you need uh, e-tariff books that uh, you see clearly what is at stake. The continent is ready to uh, trade. What should we expect from customs at the world level, at the global level, and then at the regional level? Well, customs, uh, well, custom role is really facilitating trade. And for that, they use international standards, and that is WCO standards. But now, African FCFTA protocols incorporate all WCO standards. So they are ready, they, are, they know what to do. And technological development is there. We just discussed about interoperability. So technology availability that they are well aware, and we always recommend them to do more digitalization because um, digitalization will moving into well, paperless trade and contactless uh, clearance, which is really a modern way. And for that, we provide a lot of training. And with that, uh, um, well, our standards, technology and the training, I hope that uh, there will be a trust, content-wide trust between customs, between customs and business and we can connect the business to business. Customs is the competent authority when it comes to AFCFTA in Ghana. Why is customs so significant in driving this? Um, because um, whenever, uh, well, trade, um, well, you talked about WTO, and uh, um, trade uh, body can make a rule, but uh, for the traders, business, what is more important is how it is applied, how it is implemented, and this is why um, uh, customs, uh, um, well, uniform uh, implementation, interpretation and the implementation of those trade rules are important. And uh, um, customer has that, uh, well, competence and uh, they are expected to deliver. So this is why customs, uh, without customs significant involvement, uh, no trade agreements can be really implemented. Yeah. And what would you say to Africans about this vision of the continent to integrate its market? Africa has decided to trade among itself, among its nations. Is this feasible? What would you tell the continent? Well, uh, of course, before whether it is feasible or not, it is the expectation of the world that uh, Africa is, uh, has the biggest potential for future development and uh, well, in terms of human resources, in terms of resources. So how to uh, make Africa uh, the development more uh, sustainable and uh, prosperous? That is the benefit of, of the whole world. And then when uh, you talk about Africa, Africa, you need uh, really more diversification and uh, more trade uh, into Africa. And for that, we need to create a really a platform upon which they can, they can play with transparency and predictability. So that combination would really make it feasible to create one African market. But of course, it depends on Africa.
So this is why we try to give more capacity building to Africa. Finally, you have headed the World Customs Organization, a huge global organization. The AFCFTA Secretariat is relatively new continental uh, body under the, or as, as an organ of the African Union. What advice would you give the Secretariat? Well, um, it is relatively new. So that means that they can leapfrog, and that uh, um, they have no um, well, legacy system uh, when you look at the technology. But uh, what is important is really uh, creating trust and uh, um, uh, trust between uh, Africa uh, FCFTA Secretariat uh, Rex and individual custom administrations so that they can have the common goal. So it's, uh, it requires a lot of communication and efforts and also raising awareness among political leaders because in the end it is political leaders, political commitment, and currently FCFT Secretariat enjoys political commitment from uh, leaders. And uh, um, also partnership is important because um, you need expertise from other area. Well, including, for example, in the customs, we provide assistance, but this kind of partnership is necessary, partnership between, um, well, uh, uh, development community uh, support, but also uh, with the trade and uh, um, all government agencies. And in the end, please um, focus on people. That is what uh, um, I would like to um, suggest to the FCFT Secretariat. So now the continent has an e-tariff book certified by the World Customs Organization. Uh, as you heard from the Secretary General there, it's important that we have this document and indeed the document is ready. He believes that this is the way to go. The continent of Africa is set and ready to trade under this particular uh, e-tariff book document. And we also have the Rules of Origin Manual ready. We have a website that is supposed to serve as an information hub for everybody on the continent. National offices are launching their policy frameworks. What else do you want to see? What else do you want to know before you realize that uh, the continent is trading? The continent is set and ready to commence commercially meaningful trading. And we will continue to urge you. Follow the platform. We will not miss any uh, opportunity to bring you the best of information you require uh, to be able to trade under the AFCFTA. So with all these tools that are ready now, we are told that you can even begin to trade now under the AFCFTA. But if you don't know how, if you are doubting, you just wait a little while. The Secretariat, the National AFCFTA offices and the seven countries that I have mentioned, Mauritius, Ghana, uh, Cameroon, South Africa, Egypt, Kenya, Senegal, they are going to embark on this particular guided trade. After that, you will see how it is done and therefore get to know that indeed commercially meaningful trading has commenced and we will bring them to you right here on this platform. Now the weather report for all African cities, also the schedules of lights leaving the commercial and trade hub of the continent of Africa to the rest of African cities, the forex rates for the African market and the AFCFTA status for African countries next.
finally the time to trade commercially meaningfully on the continent of Africa is here. We have Rules of Origin Manual launched. We have E-Tariff Book launched. We have countries, policies, frameworks, and action plans launched. What else do we have to commence commercially meaningful trading? That is left for you to decide. You just need to begin to utilize the AFC, FTA, and commence trading across every party states on the continent of Africa. 43 countries have so far ratified, deposited their instruments of ratification, and you can trade in all these 43 countries so long as you register in your countries and commence trading under the AFC, FTA. We have a guided trading coming up which is going to demonstrate to the continent that indeed trading under the AFC FTA is functional. Follow this platform, learn more, know more, let it impact you positively. Thank you for watching and see you same time next week.